it's the big butler or it's a rama. All right, it's the Butler PA swap meet at the Butler Fairgrounds. Sixty-eight Triumph, two thousand bucks. Nineteen seventy Harley Sprint, seven hundred. This one's only 400. A lot of bike stuff at this swap meet. Forty-nine Ford, seventy-nine hundred bucks. It's pretty nice. New Mexico. 16.5. Looks pretty clean. Alright, here's a nice one. It's probably a 62 ish Falcon. Okay, here's what everybody wants made in the USA. air compressor it's got to be like a 60 60 gallon tank now this is a good deal it's a 1919 it's only 12,000 bucks I mean what can you get for 12,000 bucks anymore these days not much. Let's go, Kirk. So there we have a Corvette. 18K. 18K. All right. It's a nice Jeep. What do we have here? Nice sun. Analyzer. Cooling system service center is what that is. Cool. Some nice Yoda. It's got to be 89 or newer. Something up to the mid 90s. Well, that one's really nice, yeah. Okay, here's a nice Harley Davidson. See, it says it right there. That's a beaut. Nice vintage bikes, eh? Yeah. That's a cool bike. Well, what do we have here? Wow. This is awesome. You don't see these too often anymore. This is Volkswagen on it. I wonder what they want for it. All right, so we found the big Butler car corral. Let's check it out. Here we have a nice Buick. 79 you can drive it home today for 9500 bucks 
got the Buick Iconic Fender badging. Anyway, here's a nice Corvette now. This one, it's a mystery because we have no idea how much they want for it. But it's at least a 74. Here's a nice Mustang. Mustangs are good. 84 SVO, 2500 bucks. Cool. Here's a nice G for 5K. These are pretty. These are pretty good vehicles, especially if you have to drive them in the snow. It's a Mitsubishi. He was nice El Camino. Four thousand bucks. Runs and drives. Here's a nice seventy. 70 turbo hydro 400 12 bolt 14k C10 that looks pretty nice actually interior is pretty sharp long bed sweet all right here's a Cherokee Sport 7250 got your name on it here's a Dodge Monaco or some who knows what it is Magnum GT all right now here's an Audi TT I believe these are fun 12 8 it's 04 six popper these are a blast my uncle had one of these okay um Dodge RT. I don't see a price. That Dodge, I don't know. Volkswagen. 15k on this thing. Flatbed. It's an 08. You can haul anything. Here's a nice Mustang, 2007 for 6,700 bucks, 93,000 miles. That's a lot, that could be a lot of fun for 6,700 bucks. All right, big Mercury, 7,500 bucks. Here's a nice Harley. But let's look at the Ranger. And this is a 94, 120k miles, 2,500 bucks. This is what you want for a beater truck. Just oil spray it and you're good for the winter. Honda Element. These are actually great utility vehicles. $4,000 must sell. Oh, 261k. Well, it's just getting broken in. Now here's a nice, uh, what do you want to call this thing, uh, we're going to say Chrysler, yeah, 6500 bucks. it's a 55, which was a good year for Chrysler, nice interior, could probably use a little bit of leather conditioner, but other than that, it's good. Now here's what I like, Mustang Boss 302. This car probably doesn't have a price on it, but it's an 07 and there's all the cool stuff you want to know about it. So here's a Ford with 150. You can probably get a better deal on it because it has flat tires. So instead of 10, 6, who knows? You might shop a couple thousand off. There's a nice Ford. Okay, let's walk over here. 1500 bucks for a 52 Ford. 
I gotta take a picture of that one. It, <clears throat> here's another Jeep. There's no price, but looks nice. It's a 01. Here's a Butte 47 Chevy. They want 23,500 bucks for it. It looks like a real cruise mobile. When you decide to go that way, I'll ride up with you and see if I can get one. You don't see these every day, so it might be worth it. Here's a nice Trans Am for six thousand nine hundred. It's been freshly cleaned. This is what I want. This is nice. Man, I love these old vans. It's a Chevy van. I think there's a song written about this. I don't think it's for sale though, you know. I think it's a parts hauler. All right, last couple vehicles here. We have a square body, 76 for 16.5, three quarter ton. So that makes it what, a K20 or something like that? It's pretty nice. Here's a nice older vehicle. 36 Buick Roadmaster, limited edition, 140 built. 26.5 on that. It's quite a car. You don't see those too often. And the last one's an El Camino. This could be like a work truck or something. So it's 5,000 bucks. This is kind of cool, an old Indian two-stroke dirt bike. Three Fords on a trailer. Let's take a look. So here's a nice 1970 F100 Alabama truck. 6200. I wonder what the frame looks like. Well, here, let's take a look. It's pretty clean, I guess, for Alabama. So that's what that one is. Not bad for the price. And uh, here's a nice 87 53K F-150 for only 11.5. Now this one looks really clean. Wow, super clean. It's, it has EFI, so you don't have to mess around with the carburetor. I think I like it. I would think that one would sell. And then the last one here we have, I can't even tell you what it is. I'm going to say 1970 something. F100. Custom. And, um... This is an Alabama truck as well, 7400 bucks. Uh oh, we have rumples of thunder in the background, that's not good. Hmm. That's not, not good, look at the sky. Alright, I think that's it for this little corner. Except for this one, this one is a... I can't even read it. But they want fifteen thousand bucks for it. So, what the heck? Let's give them fifteen k. It can haul a load of dirt, or you could probably put like a Supra in there and dump it out. Oh yeah, look at this. Okay, here's a really sweet. Looks like an eighty four or eighty five. I don't like that thunder. So it's not a 2JZ, but it's it's the inline six Toyota mo motor. They made 160 horsepower. 
original wheels. Oh, there we go, 800 bucks. Ran when it was parked. Hmm. See, I had one of these back in the day. It was a little bit cleaner than this. But it was a great car. I loved it. This one's missing the flare there. Um, it's missing the super logo. There's the gas tank. Fuel filter. Do you know if this is an Enduro car or a dirty car? It uh, looks like a um, track car. Like a race an car. car. Yeah. Alright, so that's a beaut. 800 bucks. Can't go wrong. This thing's beautiful. This guy was a master with laying those stickers out. Yeah, these these are fun. VW powered. Here's a nice 50, 55, 6 or 7 maybe. I'm not sure. Old Chevy truck. It's nice. And another Indian. Wow, there's a lot of Indian bikes out here. Camillo. These trucks here. Looks like a 94. 94, 95, somewhere around there. Okay, here's a 965. And this one has a V8 and the twin I beams. That's what you want in a 65. And plus it has the cop spotlight. Alright, this is what we're all looking for. A barn find Honda. This is only $9.99. It runs, drives, it's solid. It is something, I don't know, corn and yard fresh. So the Butler Rama is a pretty crazy swap meet. It's amazing what we're finding here. It's a nice 58. This thing, this thing is almost mint. I would buy it, but it doesn't have any tail lights, and those are hard to find. Man, it's amazing all the motorcycles out here. Well, that's pretty nice. I could use that. You need a 454? Here you go, 1200 bucks. That's a bargain. Alright, here's a really nice Corvette. 1978. 32,000 miles. That's clean. Alright, rust free tailgates and truck beds. All right, 67 here. It's a big block car. It has a 12 volt. Got a spare SS hood, right? Yeah, the good hood's on the car. Okay. I just Western car, so it's fairly clean, rust-wise. Three and a quarter horse, 396. I'd have to assume it's non-matching. -mat Looks pretty western to me. Hmm. That was a reproduction. Okay, here we go. Here's a nice Dodge. Ram. 
for 8k. Anything on the tarp 25,000 or more. Or less, I mean. It's a pretty good deal. It's a nice intake for somebody. 1925. Wouldn't mind having that. Put like a big block in it. See, when natural gas prices get out of hand, this is what you want. 350 will be a bargain. All right, folks. Thanks for tuning in. We're going to wrap it up. And tune in again when we have something else going on. Yum. I'm getting hungry. <laughs>